Hi guys, and welcome back to the FFT Berserker Tournament, hosted by Gatebuster22. That's me. Um, we're gonna do the semifinals matches today, and probably get the bronze and the finals matches done too, um, in a separate stream back-to-back. Alright, so on top we have the winner of match 1, that was Robo, and on bottom we have the winner of match 2, that's RG. Uh, quick overview of the teams. We've got the Tactician's Blade, MP Switch, Unyielding, Re-Raising, Squire, Gambler's Axe, Swinging, Re-Raising, Damage Splitting Paladin, both of them using Chantange to kind of prevent excessive damage from attacks or protect. Thom does great work shooting things from a distance with his arcing bow, and then Awesome Wind does the Repel Knife Scorpion still combo pretty well. Angry has the Ancient Swords for the uh, Petrified Brock. Grumpy uses Seductress, hoping for a charm. Infuriated has Night Killer to proc. What does Night Killer proc? HPMP Poison. Okay. And then the Octagon Rod for the Undead on Furious. Bitch! Oh, Frog, sorry. Frog. My bad, my bad. Uh, these guys are both Coast Ringed, so we'll see how that plays out for RG. Um... Herobal did really well, as did RG, so it'd be kind of hard to call right off the bat, but we'll have to see how their first matchup goes on Nogius. Again, it's a small, large, medium rotation, um, so let's see what happens. Now, of course, the cool thing with Berserkers is everyone watches forward. No don't act or poison procs. Big damage right off the bat. And of course, lacking. Ooh, Seductress misses though. Ooh, crossbow to the back of the head on his own unit. Uh, remember, our friendly fire count is one. That is RG in red, the Robo in white. Friendly fire count is up to two now. Ooh. That was quick. Alright, so Herobo takes the first map on the map number two. That's the really cool thing about these Berserker tournaments is that they go very quick. Alright, Robo versus RG going to Mandalia Plains, large map. Of course, everyone getting into position. Opening bow shots. Ooh, and the charm prop lands. It's gonna be a big deal for RG there. But he immediately removes it, and there goes the poison proc. And friendly fire counts now up to three for RG. Don't act in haste. Oof. Need a dead archer. And Horrible's just chewing through RG's team. Petrify does land though. And there's a frog as well. Oh, re-raise will make something of it. And that's still it for Rex. Ouch. Rebel advances forward to our finals match. Oof. All right. Oh, 
All right, so second round of the semifinals is going to be t between Anima Zero and Andrew. Anima Zero produced a mod, which is Sleep Ancient Sword Ninja with teleport. Hyperion, which is a demon plate, demon spear lancer, very tanky with the church. Uh, Life Drinker, also very tanky with the blood sword for absorb as well. Uh, and Thunderbolt for the Donak procs off the bow. Um, Meat Bone Slash, Desperation, Lockup, Hope Button. Okay, and then you've got down here for Andrew, Infidel Ion, using the Excalibur, looking for another Frog proc. Infidel Igor, looking for Gambler's Axe proc. Ultimus Bow, uh, from Infidel Irving. And Infidel Isaac uses Repel Knife and Gladius. Interesting choices. All good choices. All good things. Um, let's go to... Map number 57. What's our underground book storage one? Dragon Spirit goes off early. Anna was in red, Andrew's in black. Hmm. Sleep worked. Ooh, and then double guard. Ooh, Demon Spirit does miss. Leads to a counter, which gave him haste. But the Gladius to slow him down is not happening. There's the Don't Act Brock they've been looking for. HP restore, oh that's gonna be aggravating. Big damage. More counter, haste and there's the slow. Re-raise means death. Nice gambler's axe proc. Andrew might be in trouble. Nope, the archer is not hunting the samurai, leaving him free to do whatever he wants. No frog proc, and that's a second dragon spirit. That's not good. Ooh, okay. The demon spear user is down. And the archer keeps getting blocked. Concentrate might have been a better selection for him. Like Andrew took on his samurai. Infidel Ion going for another. Ooh, there's the frog proc. Ooh, massive damage. Gambler's axe. Evasion still matters. Oh, and then the frog attack procs the auto potion. That's horrible. Oh, man. And more guarding. More dodging. Oh, and the demon spear gets dodged. Leaving the auto potion and doing all the damage it just did. And that just lets Andrew uh, kind of mop everyone up. Oh, my gosh. Well built team, Andrew. Very scary. If the Demon Spirit it doesn't connect, though, low faith. So Auto Potion says no. And no crystal grabbing for any reason, because it's Berserk Day Eye. More HP restore. That might be the only thing that's a threat to this team. Oh, well, Demon Spirit finally connects. No Auto Potion either. Infidel Igor just going after it. A good bow shot. A 3-on-1 with a... Oh, still high, but it will not survive the next hit. Uh, HP Restore is just going to be obnoxious. Oh, the Samurai does get a Crystal, and just enough damage to get a kill, thanks to the proc. Wow. Alright, let's see what happens in round two. Oh, I didn't have sound going. Not bad, guys. I like this better. Alright guys, having fun? This is uh, still Anima versus Andrew. 
We're going to Barius Valley. Oh, there goes the slope rock. And you need that. Oh, okay. Almost a friendly fire there. No, the ninja does have re rays. So it's the samurai. Oh, and there's the nasty frog proc. The tree is still in the way for that archer. Frog proc means they get to take their time. He does have re race, so he will come back up. Uh oh. 55% chance to hit, and he still gets through, and gets the Don't Act off. But does not help with the Demon Spear. No, nope, Don't Act says no attack for you. And Beast Witch keeping him alive, so I think this very much reversed for Andrew. I think Ayama is definitely in control of this one. So Andrew's, uh... I want to say Andrew's Samurai has very much been a threat this whole time. He's Dragon Spirit again. That Paladin just staying alive. Oh no. He got the crystal, but he didn't attack. Back behind the tree. It's a dragon spirit, so this could be going for quite some time here. But that's the samurai now, however, being the only guy left alive for Andrew's team, unless he dies and his turn is next, it will not help. Dodginess. Life Drinker does get the kill, so it is 1-1 one, one, Anima and Andrew. Let's see how Map 3 goes. I'm going to Alvoy Monastery. Outside. I'm guessing that Ninja is bait. He's doing a very good job of being bait, by the way. Making people pay for it. There's a re-raise, and that seemed to be the bane of Andrew last time, is all the re-raise that went off. And be switched doing its job. There's a slow. Oof. Concentrate doing its job. 
There's another re-raise! This one block? Gambler's Axe delivering the damage. Ooh, critical means dead Lancer. He does have re-raise. Archer couldn't quite get the shot through. More Dragon Spirit, lovely. And Andrew's really using evasion to his advantage here. <coughs> Lancer dies before he can get any more health back. And Samurai says that the Knight Paladin's dead too. He will use Blood Sword. He got his strike in. He didn't frog him, so he Dragon Spirits again. He's just looking at piling on the damage. Darnak does land on the ninja. That could be crucial here. Again, no frog, so there's that dragon spirit. And she goes down. And we're, we're stuck in a loop. Oh, there we go. And that's it for Anima. Last thing, we were sandbagging here. I don't know how we're sandbagging with Berserkers, but we were for a minute. And that is it for the semifinal, folks. It will be Hirobo versus Andrew uh, for the title of Berserker Champion. And then we will have uh, Anima and Argy go at it for the bronze match. GG guys, thanks.